What's up everyone, Jeff Teague here. I'm with my buddy Jack from Jack's Automotive. We're checking out the Sequoia TRD Pro at night. We're both gonna do a nighttime review, so we're gonna walk around this one. Solar octane, of course, you see the light bar. And we'll try to get a good idea of what it looks like at night, inside and outside. Call this a tag team effort here, my friends. So we're walking around it just so you can see what Sequoia is all about. It's tough, it's rugged. To me, I said it's the best Toyota redesign I've seen since I started following this one in 2005. But I really wanna show you the inside because we've got a lot of, we'll call it ambient lighting. We've got lots of buttons, controls, dials. So we gotta see what that's all about. Yeah, that's a 14 inch screen. We're gonna check that all out. I see the sunroof. Toyota calls it a moonroof. What things stand out to you? Where do you see lights that you're pretty happy they got lights. Oh, we got stuff in the back. Pop, pop goes the weasel, the weasel. Pop goes the weasel, because the weasel goes pop. Yes, with Sequoia, does not have a power vertical window, but you can pop the top glass. So you can just reach in, put your gear in. Do you like that visual? Very elementary. Look, we got lights along the side here. It's a wide vehicle. Got marker lights in the front. And then down here, we've got lighting. This is the backup camera and a backup camera washer. That's great technology. Get that mud off of it. All right, we got a light. So we can see behind here, see what we're pulling. All right, going on inside here, we got to check out every single light we can find. So that's the power back door here. And then we've got lighting so you can check out your cargo and you can also illuminate. My favorite word in the English language, we can illuminate that AC power right there. Then we've got third row power operation right there. And then look in here, we'll go boom. And maybe a little closer, boom. The USB-C back there, and that's also for the power as well. You can see there's a third row sunshade back here. See, we got some space. We got some space. We got spirit, yes we do. We got spirit, how about you? Oh, I like this. Holla. All right, so we're gonna back off. So you can see the storage room here. This has six inches of give. What does that mean? Well, that means you can pull it backward, push it forward, just like that. So I like it because you can free up space there. Look, I've just made more cargo space. Can I do it here? Yeah, you can. If you don't need backseat passenger room, well, now we've really freed it up. We're not quite to the Grand Highlander level, but it really opens up the possibilities of what you can do in here. Sunshade in the second row. Holla. All right, so looking on in here, where else are we gonna see lights? I don't see illumination in the second row, although I do see this button. That's nice. Then we've got, oh, I like this, the rear air. Very nice. We've got. USBs here, more AC power. So let's turn that on, flip this, shabam, right there. So that's nice. Put those down. Got another button over there for the back window illuminated. So what can we see here? Well, we've got the 14 inch Toyota audio multimedia system. It does wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. You can pair more than one smartphone at the same time, my friends. Can do really cool voice commands. Look, we've got buttons all lit up there. We should find out what those are, don't you think? Aluminum pedals down there, Hayden. Digital rear view mirror. So a lot of different things. We just gotta know where to look. By the way, if you do want to manipulate the second row to give you maybe space to get to the third row, you can tumble it just like that. And then you can jump in to this right here. Hi, Jack. All right, so look here, we see the seats. We got some lighting going on here to show us the technical camo. Yes, it's the layer underneath the main layer. The soft tech seating here, power buttons lit up. All right, we see illuminated ambient lighting going on here. So look at this here. We've got the technical camo. Boy, that presents itself really bold in my camera angle. 
but it's actually not the primary layer, it's underneath. So it is technically more subtle. What do we got in here? Oh, there we go. More ambient lighting in, in the house. All right, so I don't think I see any under here, but we do have some here and in the center console as well. Very cool, look, we've got the Qi wireless charging. Open this, no lighting. Open this, yes. Oh yes, my friends, we've got lights. Very cool, and then the ambient comes from right here. So let's check it out here. We've got tow mirrors, they extend. We've got lights out there too. Let's check that all out. All right, so what's power here? Well, we've got the power folding mirrors, just like that. Hey, there I am. So that folds out. Can they extend? Yeah, they can. Get into focus. Watch this. We're going to push this one right here, and that'll... Actually, let's do this too. All right, this is a work in progress, my friends. Got that bright, bright light over here for the turn signal. And now we're gonna extend the mirrors by pushing this button right here. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. You pull in a boat, you pull in a trailer. Well, guess what? The blind spot works all the way back to whatever you're pulling. That's really cool. You just gotta hook it up. And now I can illuminate that right over here. Ooh, that's bright. Oh, that's bright. So that's what we can do with those mirrors there. This is the button that switches on and off the TRD light bar. Now you can't do the light bar and fog lights at the same time. They sort of counteract each other. We're doing our best with the nighttime video, but yeah, we're gonna get a little bit of blurriness, but when I see that, we're gonna fix it. So we got automatic high beams. You can do the backup sensors that stop you if you're getting too close we can do that ac power heated steering wheel now we got doors lights doors lights that sounded funny all right so look at this here we've got that 12.3 inch information display that can show us a lot of information about our vehicle here like that's what i was getting i didn't reset it when i started driving but that's what i got probably gone 12 miles. So not very big sample size, but you gotta get an idea from something. Sirius XM, and then we can set a trailer up. See that? Tire pressure, different settings, lane tracing assist we can do. Oh, I want that on. Okay, so let's go back. If you wanna see all these, we got pre-collision system, it's off. Probably don't want to have that off. We're going to keep that on. That's a good safety feature. Just like that. Bink. Blind spot monitor. Okay, here we go. We're going to turn it off and then turn it on. See that? Right there. All right. What else do we got? Bink. Okay. Parking. Get into focus. Come on, Jeff. You got this. Parking sensors off. On. Rear cross traffic alert. That's the volume of it. Do you want that off or do you want it on? Road sign assist. Customize the right side. Watch this, hold that down. Do you want, oops, sorry. Do you want the boost gauges? I'm gonna hold that down. Go down to pitch and roll. That would be cool for off-roading. That's cool. I'll show you where else you can get that pitch and roll meter as well. Or do you want the tow gauges? So you can do either one of those. Trailer settings. Add or select a trailer. What do you want? All right, we're getting an education here. All right, so let's go back. And then you can do vehicle settings as well. Power back door. Do you want that hands-free so you can kick it? Yeah, I do. Of course I do. Rear seat reminder, tire pressure warning. 
All right, cool. Now in here, we've got our different driving modes, tow haul mode, downhill assist control, crawl mode, multi-terrain select, two wheel, four wheel. And if we want our drive modes, well, we can just flip it to sport, eco, normal. Let's take a look at the camera angles that we can show. Got overhead here. Okay, let's put it into reverse so you can see what's behind you. The tailgate's up right now. So it's saying, hey, are you sure you wanna do that? But we can see in front of, along the side of in front. Look at that solar octane, that's cool. Okay, cool. We can do, change the orientation of that. You can do auto and we can do our off-roading tools here. Nice, look at that, pitch and roll meter. Got along the sides. That would help us look for stumps and rocks and boulders and all that stuff that might get in the way. Some different things we could do. We could do our Apple CarPlay. I got Waze set up here. You can set up whatever you wanna do, but let's do um, Toyota so we can do that beautiful nav system here. 70s on seven. We can do sports. Yeah, I could set up sports. Just like that. You can get trip information, current, the history. That was the previous. See, I drive a little bit faster, so mine's worse than the previous. And then you can do different settings. You can set up your profiles. Drive shop for New York fleet. Could do general things, language and units, the keyboard, date and time. What else can we do? Let's see, display. Navigation systems. Very cool. And then vehicle customized. There's a lot you can do here with the lights right here. Door control, boarding and exiting, and then climate. We've got lighted mirrors. We've got sliders. Waka waka. Let's see how much this opens up. All right, cool, look at that. It opens up all the way. And then we've got sunglass holder. Got LED lights on this one, nice. The other thing we've got, we got a TRD red button. It is TRD. And then if you want your pressure here, it says trailer disconnected right now, but that would be how you'd get more or less. I was purposely trying to stay out of the shot because I figured my face would show up all grainy and stuff, but I wanna show you under the hood. How about a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 engine, the iForce Max. We saw that initially with the 22 Tundra and then Sequoia followed suit. 10 speed automatic transmission. This is a parallel hybrid system. It has 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque, my friends. It's pretty hardcore. And I'll tell you what, just from driving it, highways, city streets, off-roading even, it's a monster. It's got nice acceleration. It's really smooth, even at highway cruising speeds. Very impressive, I'm telling you. Now look at this, this is really bright. We've got those LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and look here, we've got one, two, three, four lights there in the house. Reminds you of Tundra, but yet of course it reminds you more of Sequoia. It's its own beast. Toyota Heritage Grill, we've got the marker lights. It's so wide, they have to have the marker lights on there. And then the LED light bar, well, you can have that on or you can have the fog light. Ooh, that was bad. Fog lights down below. Which one do you want? And if you notice down here, we've got one camera. We've also got them underneath the side mirror. See how it droops down there? Shabam, right there. That's where we get our impressive camera views, me likey. Now what about the turn signal here? What's it gonna show us? You can see it in the front, the side, 
even in the back. Would you like that as a first impression? I got to back up so you can see that a little bit more. Can you see that? Well, there it is. And then here, this is really interesting because look, we've got part of it down below and you've got part of it up here even. So let's shut this. I can do it by kicking. I don't want to interrupt Jack's flow. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. Let's take a look at some accessories that we have on this one here. Got the TRD boards. Almost looks like spray on material. That's very cool. Let's see this rack. Oh, that's very cool. What are you going to put up there? A kayak maybe? All of our coolers for our trip. And then in the back, we've got a cargo net. Got to show that off. Holla. All right. Cargo net. It can go right up here. Just like that. So you can put your stuff in it. How do you like it? For me, I just think Sequoia TRD Pro has the best of everything. It's tough. It's rugged. It looks fantastic. If you want to make a bold splash, well, go with Solar Octane. If you want to tone it down a little bit, maybe go with Ice Cap White. Whichever your flavor. What do you guys think? What stood out to you on this interior nighttime tour? Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Really enjoyed our time together. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Thanks, guys, so much. I'm at Toyota Jeff Reviews and Auto Jeff Reviews. Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. See you next time.